All right, now to the breaking news that we have been following this evening from Albany, where former Governor Andrew Cuomo has officially been facing a misdemeanor charge tonight related to the sexual harassment investigation. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. That announcement came with a lot of confusion over whether the governor was actually charged or not. Two on your side's Rob Hackford has been sorting through this for us tonight. Rob? Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, it was first reported by the Albany Times Union that a criminal summons for Cuomo was prematurely issued because the charges did not include a deposition from the woman accusing him, which is a requirement in New York State for this misdemeanor. It appears that mix up has since been fixed as we received a statement from a state court, court spokesperson confirming that sex crime complaint has been filed. The complaint filed by the Albany County Sheriff's Office includes allegations of forcible touching against the governor. We asked two on your side legal analyst Paul Cambry about what what this means for the case going forward. The only thing that would, the only complicating factor would be if there are also civil cases filed against the governor, his lawyers may say, well, we want the criminal to be uh, resolved first before we subject him to depositions in the civil case. So that's a possibility. Well, this filing from the Albany Sheriff's is the only criminal complaint involving the governor currently that we know of. We just got it into the newsroom and we'll have more for you coming up on Channel 2 News at 6 p.m. as well as on uh, WGRZ.com. Just got it in. Michael Wooten helping us out this evening. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.